home assistant installation in just two clicks two clicks in my recent video i showed you how to install this home assistant onto a raspberry pi 0w and after getting this installation method i'm totally surprised guys you can run this home assistant onto any windows 7 or windows 10 machine and you just need 88.7 megabytes of storage and by the way it's not so it's not a virtualization not virtual box not a docker not container not linux not wsl not raspberry pi obviously and uh, no physical hardware you require if you just wanted to dip your fit into home assistant and just wanted to do it quickly right now well guys this is the way you should do it right now so without wasting any time let's get right to the PC. so guys before going to the installation process let me show you how much this home assistant consumes our cpu so here you can see has 32 bit and it is consuming like almost nothing in my cpu usage also the memory usage you can see pretty minimalistic very low so yeah guys you can run this on any windows system without worrying about your downgrading your system performance so functionality wise as you can see it is pretty similar to the full fledged home assistant i didn't found any drawbacks here you can see in the configuration we have all these available options here we have developer tools and in the overview you can see this is the dashboard in the map you can see the map this is a logbook history media browser in future developer might add full hash io packages and you might get node red support and things like that so stay tuned for that guys and so here you can see guys in the configuration in the integration tab you can see list of integrations goes on and on there are lot of standard devices supported by default so you don't have to worry about any sort of a device integration if you have any iot device you can do this integration in your home assistant so guys let me add one google cast device and quickly show you that home assistant works flawlessly so here you can see i have family room tv and it's in my living room let's finish this and in the overview dashboard you can see our tv is visible in the blue tab family room tv and i can play and pause the music skip and do all these kinds of stuff so yeah it is working flawlessly now let me show you adding a example card onto my home dashboard so here you can see a lot of options are available over here so i can add maps gauges calendar buttons alarm panel and things like that i mean it's full-fledged home assistant so what are you waiting for guys watch this video till the end because i'm going to show you how you can automatically start this home assistant server without even clicking on to the launch icon so yeah guys if you are running this side by side onto your laptop or pc the auto run process will get really handy for you here you can see this is the ip of my pc where i am running this home assistant simply putting this address onto my smartphone you can see i can able to access the home assistant server right from here so yeah guys also i tried the home assistant android application and it worked flawlessly as you can see after a refresh the home assistant loads up right into my phone so here it is guys this is called home assistant windows portable has wp actually the installation process is pretty simple and you can run this on windows 7 or windows 10 64 bit machine so yeah guys that's pretty much all you need now here you can see guys they have few things pre-installed like winpython home assistant hacks son of lan xiaomi gateway yandex and notepad plus plus things like that so the first step is click over here and download this haswp.zip now all the credit goes to alex it for developing this code so yeah guys 
links are given in the description below check out and go visit his page and yeah guys it's pretty minimalistic as you can see 88.7 megabytes oh my god that is just incredible so after the download is complete right click and click on extract all and extract the files into your pc so that we can do the further installation process so all the files are extracted over here now let's double click on has now you'll get this prompt click on more info and here you can see you have to click on run anyway so now it's starting up our home assistant it's setting up the loveless ui and doing all the background thing that you'll need for home assistant now home assistant will require access of your network so windows will shortly ask you for the firewall access so here you can see the prompt you have to allow the access for your firewall and there you can see guys our home assistant is up and running and you just need to create a new account just put your name username password and there you go guys now the most important step if you want this home assistant to be started on every boot cycle you have to put this home assistant shortcut into the startup folder of your pc so let's right click on this has icon and let's create the shortcut and you can see the shortcut right over here now this is the path for the windows 10 startup folder let's put this path in the file explorer and head over to the path now here you can see this is the folder now we just need to transfer this folder into this startup folder and there you go guys now at each boot cycle this has application will be automatically booted up so there it is guys that's how you can install home assistant with just few clicks now I hope you enjoyed this process a lot and especially since it's a very simple process why not just give it a try you have already pc lying around in front of you you, um, you might be watching this video already onto the pc so yeah guys there is no practical reason stopping you from starting your own home assistant server recently i have installed home assistant on my raspberry pi check the video right over here and let me know what do you want to see in the future videos I have been doing a lot of automation these days. So guys, hit that like, share this video, subscribe to my channel and there's always thanks for watching. Peace. Goodbye.